Laura, her husband Steve, my sister-in-law is here, and then Team Lamb, campaign manager Dax Dillbeck, the office is represented behind me, supporters, workers, grassroots activists, and last but not least, I want to introduce my family, my immediate family. My wife of 19 years, who allows me to serve, gave me permission to run, permission to run for re-election, is my great help me and supporter, my wife, Monica. <laughs> Next to Monica, our two children. And Griffin and Lauren wanted me to ask you, remember us? <laughs> the stars of the Land for Lieutenant Governor television commercial, I want to publicly thank Griffin and Lauren for garnering a lot of votes today. Griffin and Lauren, thank you. Politics is a team sport. There might be one name on the ballot, but it's a team sport. There are those that I've introduced and others behind me, but everybody in this room, we're wearing one color jersey tonight. It's a Republican watch party. It's a team sport, but it's really the jersey of Oklahoma and moving Oklahoma forward. Tonight was a great victory. I'm honored by your support. But there were grassroots all throughout the state of Oklahoma. And not to put the cart too much ahead of a horse, but to show you the grassroots effort of this campaign, Land for Lieutenant Governor, we are currently leading in every one of Oklahoma's 77 counties. That's grassroots. That is grassroots. I talked to my dad today, and. My dad was Republican nominee for Lieutenant Governor in 1982. Some of y'all look familiar from those parades in 1982. But dad said this, the conservatives are now operating state government because the Republican Party reflects the values of Oklahoma. That's true. And I'm looking at so many who have been in the trenches for a very long time. Thank you for what you've done year in and year out, year after year. I will close by reminding you of what we talked about four years ago in this room at the Victory Party then. I said it was time for Oklahoma to compete with Texas in something besides football. In the last four years, here's what's occurred in Oklahoma. At different economic quarters, here's what's happened in Oklahoma. Oklahoma has led the entire nation in net job growth. When you lead the nation, it goes without saying, but it's fun to say, that includes Texas. In the last four years, at different economic quarters, we've had the most rapidly growing manufacturing growth rate with a growth rate of 6.7%. Manufacturing's on the rise in Oklahoma. In the last four years, our states had the lowest statewide unemployment rate of any state with a population of two million or more. Got to throw in that last qualifier of two million or more to kick out North Dakota. And they're doing well because of our oil and gas companies in Oklahoma. And the last case I'll share with you that say that we're on the cusp of a renaissance and we're beating Texas something besides football. Our manufacturing growth is up 5%. Our exports are on the rise. All of that's happened in the private sector. So I'll close by saying this. Oklahoma is beating Texas in something besides football. Thank you, private sector. And I firmly believe, I firmly believe Oklahoma's best days are yet to come. Thank you very much. Thank you.